Hello, welcome to the ninth lecture of the high school training, and this is John White from Junior School. And today we'll be talking about the um, equilibrium reactor. Now, the equilibrium reactor is the vessel which models the equilibrium reaction. The outlet, outlet stream of the reactor, are in a state of chemical and physical equilibrium. This lecture begins with the problem to develop a model that represents the water gas shift reaction. The role of the water gas shift reaction is to increase the hydrogen yield and to decrease the, C, the carbon monoxide concentration to cell requirements to prevent the anode being poisoned and the cell efficiency abruptly drops. Now the learning outcomes are to simulate equilibrium reactors and reactions, to re-add reactions and reaction sets, to attach sets of read package, print stream, and workbook um, data sheets. Your product recite. Navigate the PFD, add streams to the add streams in the PFD or workbook, add and connect unit operations. So the problem statement the new application of hydrogen as a raw material for fuel cell cells for mobile power source requires that the anode inlet gas have a concentration lower than 10 to 20 parts per million otherwise the anode is poisoned and the cell efficiency abruptly drops hence if the hydrogen is produced from hydrocarbon or alcohol reforming purification is required in order to reduce the CO levels to cell requirements. Now, the most technological feasible purification train, train consists of a WGS. Now, here's the reaction that has carbon monoxide reacts with hydro and uh, reacts with water to give you CO2 and hydrogen and the reaction is reversible. Now the reaction has been employed for 40 years in the, industri in the industrial process for hydrogen production from liquid and gaseous hydrocarbon. Now the role of the WGS is to increase hydrogen yield and decrease the CO concentration which is poison for some catalysts. Now, problem statement. Develop a model equation that represents the water gas shift reaction. Now, given the following condition, we're using pen missing the temperature of water is 100 degrees Celsius, 2 bars, and the molar flow is 100 kg mole per hour. This is what we do to build the simulation. We access ICs, we define the simulation basis, we add reactions and reaction sets. We attach reaction to fluid package. We add um, the feed stream and the equilibrium reactor. Okay, now let's go to our high seas. From this problem, we are not going to start a new case. We are going to continue from the previous one. We did that from the conversion reaction. Okay, it's still loading, so we are continuing from the lecture 8 we did because it's the product of that that will be the feed into the water gas shift react uh, reactor. Now, this vapor outlet. So, let's come to our property to add um, water to our component list. Add the water, we need to go to reaction, add reactions uh, and equilibrium reaction. Let's call this WGS reaction. Now 
okay let's add our components this is carbon monoxide water co2 and hydrogen now this is one, minus one because it is a reactant minus one this is one, one. so the equilibrium reaction is ready so attach the fluid package add set to fluid package it's okay now we can change this reaction set to equilibrium reaction or you could give it any name you want so now we go back to our simulation environment active go back to our simulation environment and okay flow sheet model I need my object palette so here's it we add a water stream According to the problem statement, at 100 degrees Celsius, the pressure was 2 bars. Two bars. Then the molar flow was 100 kilogram per hour. So let's go to the composition. We know that it is pure water. So this water is going to be worn here. Okay. Now the water is fully defined. Now let's bring our equilibrium reactor. Here's the equilibrium reactor. So let's put it right here and connect this stream. So I click on control and hover my mouse over the strings, then just connect them. Then I open, let's call this WGS reactor. Now let the outlet be, let's say, final vapor. Let's say this is. Um, final liquid okay that is that um so let's go to a reaction add reaction set equilibrium reaction so that is that we can see that it is fully defined and okay so we are up and running running so let me just make this look a bit organized I think so there's nothing in the um, liquid outlet you can see it from the worksheet consider the molar flow of the liquid and um, final liquid stream is zero so there's actually nothing coming out from there so this is our final product which is vapor if you look at the composition we we'll see that it has lesser um, co2 and higher hydrogen than the previous one so let's go to our um, problem statement now it says what is the molar flow of all these all these six um, components let's go back to our high system check it 
So now we can come to workbook here. Then for final vapor, you know we added these properties before the molar flow of all this thing. So for final vapor here, we can see that that of methane is this, that of oxygen is this, and this, and this, and this, and this, like that. So that of nitrogen, CO, CO2, and so on. So that's that for that. Let's go back to um, the slide. So now I am calculated the calculate rather the percentages of the following compare results from lecture two. Okay, the CO reduced and the hydrogen increased. So let's go here. So what we need to do to um, compare both results, that is for the outlet of the conversion reaction and the equilibrium reaction, that is um, compare vapor outlet here and final vapor of CO2 and hydrogen. You just have to export to Excel. So you can see from here, click on Excel. Then we only need the material stream, but let's just select all so that I can show you how it will look like in the Excel, then export to Excel. Okay, I think it is exporting. Now you click on material streams as the material streams, composition, energy. Yeah. Okay, there was no energy stream, so nothing will be there. So working with the material stream, let me just widen this so that it's be more visible we need the valve outlet and the final final vapor so we can just do little calculation and say percentage percentage increase in hydrogen And say this will be equal to um, this hydrogen, it should be this. Sorry, it should be this minus this divided by this. And all should be multiplied by 100. Multiply by 100. So that's about 10.9% increase in um, hydrogen. So let's do for oxygen, um, CO2 rather, percentage decrease in CO. We can come here, we can also say this is equal to this minus the final. over the initial times 100 so that's a 40 percent decrease in co and i think that's that for this lecture just meaning for us to save our work so when you want to save this, we do not want to save this as lecture 8 because this is actually lecture 9. If I just click on Ctrl S or save, it will just update whatever was in lecture 8. So we have to save as a new file. Save as. So we come here and name it lecture 9. 
so it saved as lecture 9 as you can see there. and our lecture 8 is still intact so we've come to the end of this lecture thank you so much for watching kindly subscribe to this youtube channel and do well to give this video a thumbs up if you really learned from it thank you very much